So one of the interesting things that we've been able to engineer into the new hybrid fusion in Milan uh, is the ability of the car to actually greet you when you come up to the vehicle. And, and we do that using this new uh, instrument panel technology that we have in the vehicle. So when you unlock the car, first thing that happens is the display screens turn this nice blue. And at night, that's a really nice feature because it actually illuminates the interior and gives it a beautiful appearance. And then we come up to the vehicle and we open the door. The display screens actually change to a... Uh, a scene with a sky and clouds and grass. Then we get into the vehicle. All right, and then as we come in, we just put our key in the ignition and the pointer lights up. You actually see this uh, beautiful pointer illuminated in the display. And then as we start up the vehicle, you see the gauges actually grow out from the center and, and uh, show you this uh, beautiful and compelling display in, in your new uh, Milan hybrid. So the vehicle also includes a tutorial mode. So when you start at the tutorial mode, the display actually just highlights the uh, indicators uh, on the cluster starting on the left-hand side. The first one is just the uh, standard park, reverse, neutral drive, gear select indicator. But on the left-hand side, we also have something more interesting, which is the temperature gauge, which is kind of this interesting thermometer and in this area, there's also a place for warnings that come up. So you can actually see, for example, when you have low fuel or trunk ajar, and they're nice and large and uh, really easy to see. Now, the next one is our tachometer and EV mode gauge. And when the gas engine is on, this acts like a traditional tachometer that you might see in, uh, in any gas engine vehicle. And the uh, orange needle just tells you what the current engine speed is. But when the uh, gas engine turns off and you're operating in electric mode, this becomes an EV mode gauge. And what you see is that the gauge turns green and the letters EV appear in very large uh, print at the bottom of the gauge. When the engine turns back on, that turns back into a tachometer. Moving over to the right one more time, we have the high voltage battery state of charge. And the high voltage battery is not needed for normal driving. You can always drive on the gas engine without it, but that's where the power for the electric drivetrain comes from. And so if the power in the high voltage battery drops uh, below a certain level, the engine will actually turn on in order to provide more charge. And you can see that by an arrow. Uh, moving to the right-hand side, the next gauge you see is the fuel level indicator. And uh, this is a, a large, really colorful graphical display that shows you the amount of fuel sort of as an amber liquid that's in, in the uh, fuel gauge. But as your uh, fuel level becomes lower, it can actually turn to a yellow warning state. And if you get really low, it actually turns red. You can see by that uh, red fuel level that you really need to stop and get fuel into the vehicle. Moving one more slot over the right, we come to the instantaneous fuel economy gauge. So if you accelerate uh, aggressively, you'll see that number become smaller. And if you're uh, cruising or uh, going downhill, you'll see the number become larger. And it really tells you, you know, at that moment, uh, how efficiently you're driving the vehicle. So as we move to the, to the final gauge on the right-hand side, we come to something we call the efficiency leaves. And this is really one of the most innovative and fun features of the vehicle. As you drive more and more efficiently, this area of the display grows leaves on a vine. If um, you've been driving inefficiently, the number of leaves will actually drop off. There's also another way to look at that information. Some people are, uh, really want the, the numbers. We also have uh, another form of the display, and that's a fuel efficiency histogram or history. And the history graph actually tells you your um, fuel economy in miles per gallon over, say, the last 10 minutes. And uh, it's just another way to look at uh, how efficiently you've been driving the vehicle over the last period of time.